Hey everyone, so typically I get my day started when it's still dark outside and I'll head to the bathroom, uh, brush my teeth, and this is my favorite toothbrush in the world. It's the Oral B I O series. Definitely recommend getting one. After that, I'll wash my face, of course. Gotta keep your skin clean. And then I'll go put on some clothes. Then I leave my room, head to the living room, and this is when I start my morning routine. Good morning guys, so it's currently about 4.30 a.m. And I was actually supposed to wake up at around 5.30 a.m. today, but I couldn't fall asleep. And I have this rule that, you know, if I can't um, get back to sleep within like 15 to 20 minutes, I'll just get up and start the day. So yeah, we're getting the day started a little bit early today, but I still got a good six and a half, seven hours of sleep. So I think I should be okay today. Right now I'm gonna start with my morning routine. And something I've been doing for the last six months is I don't eat breakfast. Usually my first meal of the day is just gonna be some protein powder after the gym. And I find that not eating keeps my mind sharp, and of course it also saves a lot of time. So I'm really excited to show you guys my day today. I think it's gonna be a fun day. We have a lot of things planned. And yeah, I'm just excited to give you guys a glimpse into my life as an entrepreneur. So I didn't bring any of my actual physical books. I've actually been using Audible in the mornings to get my reading in. But since it is so dark outside, uh, sunrise isn't until like 5.50 a.m. I'm gonna get some deep work in, do some brainstorming. Since I find that in the mornings, there are literally no distractions, no one's texting me. And after that, I'm gonna take Rocky out on a walk and listen to my Audible book, which I'll tell you guys more about. So it's really gorgeous uh, morning today. This is why I love living in California. Anyways, this is the book that I'm listening to. It's called Die With Zero by Bill Perkins. And yeah, something that I've struggled with a lot is just being super frugal. So it's something that I'm actively trying to change. And this book sort of gives you the mindset that yes, you should spend your money. You should try and die without you know, leaving any money behind. Because if you don't, you're essentially wasting so much of your life trying to make money that you're never going to use. So yeah, lately I've really liked my Audible books because I can do something else. I can work out, I can walk Rocky while actually, you know, reading a book. Also, if you guys have trouble waking up, uh, try taking a walk in the morning. It's such a great way to get your blood flowing and it just sort of makes you a little bit more in tune with the outdoors. All right, so it's close to 6.30 a.m. now. Um, I'm gonna bum out for about maybe 20, 30 minutes. And then we're gonna get started with our second deep work session for the day. And now for two hours of boring deep work. So this is what the inside of my ClickUp looks like. This is where I schedule all of my videos. I have all my scripts here, all my research. And I can also see all my videos uh, in a calendar format. And basically right now what I'm doing is I'm scripting, I'm reviewing, and I'm looking for new video ideas that I can put on the main channel as well as my other channels. I also have to delegate a ton of tasks for the people on my team, as well as making some progress on a course that I'm building right now. So my mic died, so I'm switching over to this road mic. But right now, I'm um, gonna get ready for the gym. So I'm gonna take 
a pre-workout, just the normal like Optum Nutrition Gold Standard. And I always take a liver pill too. I've been trying this out. So yeah, I'm just gonna mix these up and let's get going. Yes. So this pre-workout is super mild. Um, one scoop has three uh, grams of creatine and 175 milligrams of caffeine. So a question I get a lot is like, Charlie, why do you love gymming? Like what's kept you motivated to work out for like over 10 years? And I don't know, I think it doesn't make sense to like gymming, right? You're literally tearing your muscles apart. But something about it where I can see myself grow, my muscles grow, I look better, I feel better. You sort of need to just convince yourself that you love it and that might help you stay motivated. Um, I think I started working out because I was pretty insecure about how skinny I was. So I was able to take that uh, insecurity and turn it into a lifelong passion uh, for working out. I've built a lot of relationships while working out at the gym. So it's definitely something I am super grateful for. Anyways, I'm gonna finish this and let's go. Equinox now, uh, it's about a 10 minute drive. And I always love starting my mornings hearing the sound of the Ferrari. So I've always been a super big car person my entire life, um, but there's something really special about, you know, just getting in a car that makes you feel good. You get these positive vibrations. I know it sounds kind of funny, um, but it just makes the day a whole lot better and it gives good energy. Uh, into yourself, so I feel like it does help me do more work. It does inspire me. We got Carlton. Good morning. How's How we feeling? Good. We got Blake. What's up, guys? So, I saw we made it to the roof of the Equinox. Uh, today we are doing a shoulder workout. So it's gonna be a good time, and I'll show you guys sort of what I do. best parts about this gym is this outdoor roof space you guys can see it's pretty cool you have a nice view of Orange County so this gym costs $350 per month for the executive membership it comes with my own locker that is private but yeah this is very very expensive every time I think about how much it costs to come here frugal Charlie's like what are you doing but yeah the type of people that you can meet here uh, I think really makes it worth it since it's so expensive the people that come here are more likely to be successful entrepreneurs whatever it is and I've made some good connections here um, and yeah I think it, it is worth it for me but for most people probably not worth it LA Fitness costs what 30 40 dollars a month and and it's totally fine. I gym there for many, many years. But yeah, for me, this was worth the investment. Yeah, what's the tip you have for entrepreneurs? The tip I have for entrepreneurs is to fail fast, man. You gotta try a lot of different things and you gotta be comfortable with failing. And as soon as you become comfortable with failing, you'll get to success a lot quicker. Biggest tip for entrepreneurs. My biggest tip for entrepreneurs is um, if you feel the passion to work for yourself, then really try everything and try it early because you're never gonna know right away what you want to do. Um, but if you try everything out and you figure out what you don't want to do, you're gonna get, you know, you're gonna figure it out way quicker, right? You're gonna stumble upon something that you absolutely love, dedicate your time to, and then go all in. So finished our workout. Now we're gonna go hit 
the uh, steam room and take a shower. So something I'm super consistent with is taking protein after my workouts. So I'm gonna take some whey protein isolate and something that I've been super obsessed with recently is almond butter. Um, really great fats and tastes amazing. So now it's 10.45 a.m. Uh, and I have my physical therapist coming over for a session at 11. So I'm just gonna go get changed real quick for that. And yeah. And by the way, this uh, physical therapy is completely free or I guess it's covered by insurance and they actually come to you, which is amazing. How's your hip feeling? Feels good. Yeah. yeah. with this guy because he always brings free <laughs> drinks yeah you're welcome <laughs> so one of the best things about living in a house is that you can get food delivered and it goes straight to your door there it is come on so okay so so Michael is a uh, food influencer and all he does is uh, eat at places and gets paid for it so Probably the best job in the world. Do you have any tips for anyone that wants to get into that type of stuff? I think being persistent and also not slacking off on the content, just making sure that you're constantly posting good quality content. And I also believe that you should post quality versus quantity. Like don't think turning out a million videos is better than turning out 10 quality videos. So that's my advice. How many videos do you put out per day? I put out uh, on Instagram and TikTok once a day, every day, okay. but then um, it's kind of stuff that was recorded and filmed like month, maybe a month ago or something, but I do try to make sure it's quality before I upload it. All right, so we're done masterminding and having lunch. Uh, it's about 1.30 p.m. And I'm gonna head back to the apartment uh, and actually film some videos for YouTube. All right, finally back in the apartment, home sweet home. The next two to three hours, I'm just gonna be grinding on this one video. And filming this is one of the main tasks for my day. So this is the home studio, and I'm gonna be filming my video right here today. So overall, I love what I do. I love the flexibility. You know, I've worked for myself ever since I graduated college. Never really had an actual nine to five job besides for a few months uh, during college. But yeah, I love the ability to do whatever I want. As you can see, I just had lunch with my friend. I'm choosing to work right now. I worked in the morning. And I'll probably do some more work at night as well. But basically I try and time block so, you know, I don't work sporadically throughout the day. Instead, I divide my day up into these like little blocks of time and it allows me to be a lot more productive that way. They always say work harder, not smarter, but I like to work smart and hard. So right now I'm gonna change into the clothes I'm wearing for the video. I'm gonna get the set uh, all ready and I'm gonna film. So I literally just finished recording and my voice is dead. I think I just spent two hours recording that video. I'm so tired. Right now it's 5 p.m. So I'm gonna get my stuff up, uh, clean up, and then I'm gonna head back to the house. Overall, I'm like super passionate about what I do. I truly do believe that the type of content I'm making can affect a lot of people. And so when you're passionate about what you do, I feel like 
work doesn't really feel like work. And yeah, I would do this if I didn't make any money because I truly believe in the value of the stuff. All right. We made it home. It is almost 6 p.m. right now, and we're gonna have some people over. So something I always say is, you know, happiness comes from your relationships. And the more time you can spend making friends and building connections with people, the happier you're gonna be. So that's why I really prioritize maintaining friendships as well as continually meeting more people. So I'm gonna go get changed and then get the place ready for our guests. All right, so it's close to 8.30 p.m. We have a bunch of friends over, uh, just having some drinks, eating some food, and just hanging out. And yeah, overall, really good day. So we're basically just gonna eat. We're gonna go in the hot tub for sure. And then I think we might go out tonight. My life is not always this glamorous. I don't even own this house. It's a rental. But I still hope you guys got some good value out of the video. I think it's always interesting to you know, see how other people structure their days. And yeah, when I was starting off with entrepreneurship, I really enjoyed watching other people's day in the lives because I could take little bits and pieces of what other people did and incorporate it into my own schedule. I really appreciate you guys for watching. And um, if you guys want some free stocks, I'm gonna put some links down below in the description. But yeah, hope you guys have an amazing day. Wishing all you guys a lot of success in your life. And of course, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm making a ton of content about personal finance, entrepreneurship, and investing. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.